welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. We're ending our series on questions from you guys. The first one is from Lisa. Um, my question deals with domestic violence victims who are looking to e evacuate uh, due to the violence. If our tenant selection plan doesn't make any exceptions on requiring a landlord verification, are we to disregard um, negative responses such as property damage or late rent um, in order to allow them to, um, to, re to receive them as a victim of domestic violence? Following that, when um, determining whether or not to let someone um, lease your property um, and you know them to be a domestic violence victim, what about the, your concerns with the other residents who may be now placed in harm? Is there anything in particular we need to do in order to legally protect ourselves? Hi, Lisa. This is a two-part question. And HUD and the VAWA notice ask managers to take into consideration, I guess you call it uh, making exceptions, that victims of domestic violence have negative referrals, some property damage, and or pay their rent late. Imagine if a resident were being bullied and abused and afraid to let anyone know. All a person would see is that she doesn't pay her rent on time, she pays it late, she has large holes in her walls or doors, and possibly they would say negative things about her. Wouldn't you agree? Yet no one really knows that she is living in fear. The holes in the walls come from her body being slammed into the wall or her abuser's footprint or his fist print going through the wall or something thrown at her that damaged the wall. Take it a step further. You've rented the apartment, you're not paying your rent because your abuser has taken your money, or you were ashamed to go to work because of the black eye and the bruises, so your paycheck was short. HUD wants us to realize that domestic violence is real. It could be a life or death situation. It also puts victims in situations that are beyond their control. And abuse comes in different forms. There's a mental, physical, and even verbal abuse. As far as other residents go, if you have an abuse on your property, it's a dangerous situation to everyone on the property. I would think that education would be the key. Educate your residents on VAWA rights and responsibilities. Make sure they understand the material that you've given them. Hope this helps and take that into consideration. Until the next time, we'll see you again on another Tuesday Tip. <music>